Hey guys, Harry here, back with another Ritlane vlog again uh, on the new plot. So, uh, today I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the build. A um, couple little topics I want to talk about, I'm not quite sure, but I'll once I've gone over the build and what we're doing at the moment and how uh, the gang is and everything, then I'll chat about the chat about a topic. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's Thursday night when I'm recording this. Um, it's another busy, it's been another busy week, Jesus. Uh, as I recorded from last video, I, I was trying to get that one out. I've just, you know, it really threw me off losing my phone the other week. You know, I, I was in front with all my vids and then now I'm all behind again. And uh, I'm one of them people now who I need to sort of pre record my videos because I, I do struggle with. Uh, you know, with the household being a little bit more noisy with the cats and then our young and being at nursery, so you know, there's and then more to think about work. I'm definitely I'm definitely a tad bit more stressed than usual with the bigger gang. Um that is because everything's just synergizing at the moment, you know, we're all Every, everyone's learning, obviously about me. Uh, everyone's learning. I'm learning in a sense as well. If I, you know, if I'm quite honest, managing people. Or I, you know, it was never ever anything I wanted to undertake uh, any my sort of managing position. And some people might say, you know, what, well, you know, you've just got two labourers. What, what's there to manage? And more than you think. More than you think when you like to be efficient like myself. Um, so that's that's proving its tasks. Uh, over the last couple of weeks and you know with the missus working again going from you know just one person working in the household to both of you working you know the, the household synergy changes everything's different you know the house is you know left you know for you know six seven eight hours or whatever and then you get in and you still got to do housework and you still got to you know do everything and you still got to then all get ready for the next day and everyone's working it's very different it's a different environment than i've been used to for the last two years since the missus stopped working and we had our first young uh, we had archer our son and it's just been really weird really really weird i've not i like it i like it, it feels so much different but it feels like we've stepped into a new era um and i definitely feel i've stepped into into a different position because we're getting through loads of work it's weird you know i'm earning about the same you know because everyone's you know paying everyone a wage and you know we're all sort of learning so i'm not probably going as fast as you know i probably should be but you know i'm still earning probably day work at least and uh we're flying through work because i'm just not used to getting this much done i'm not used to laying seven or eight hundred bricks every day you know like i used to when i was working solo with the old man we were laying four or five hundred bricks and we're laying at least 50 percent more if not double on some days i think we we were going to touch a thousand bricks one day but we got rained off so if if it had not rained on the tuesday um we'd have touched a thousand without a doubt easily um and I'm just getting used to finding everyone jobs because my initial plan, I'll go over my initial plan with the gang was, Mel was like a part-time helper, a couple of days a week, jointing up and spreading, uh, or just jointing up and getting gobbo, when now she's took on a bit of like a full-time role where I wasn't really prepared for it. Like she's working three to four days a week, and that's most of the week, especially when we're going to winter. That's more like a full week in winter. And now she's spreading, getting gobbo, loading up, and pointing, but we've sort of lost some of the aspect of pointing because the bricks are so, we're getting through that much gear. The bricks are still wet from the morning, even when we're in the afternoon, so there's no point pointing them. Uh, so we're all having to stop and join up at the end. And I'm just, I am literally like, there's no issues on the ground floor, if like this, there's always something to load out, there's always work for people, but when we get up on like, like oh, we're on a top out, we've been on a top out today, you know, it's hard finding, you know, jobs for everyone to be doing, and like for instance, Mel's not working tomorrow, Friday, um, we've got a cut up, we started on a flat start today, 
Um, we've got one with Gabor. Um, pretty easily, we had a bit of aggro for management. Uh, new management's took over for old management, so you know they had a few things to say about how we did stuff. And then I was messing around with the damp for ages, and then we had to load up from a flat start, and so I was building corners. And then I had to add new tie details, so I had to change the way we're doing the ties. But now we've already loaded that in front. We've got all boards set up. I've got my head round. I'm going to build it now a bit more. Uh, so it's just me and Dean tomorrow. So Dean will be topping stacks up because we've got a narrow scaffold and he'll be getting gobble and spreading. Because Dean's starting to lay a bit more now, I'm getting to the point where. And the missus is spreading quite good as well now. So we're getting to a point where we're going to have Dean laying from one end and then this is spreading uh, right behind me so I'm just laying and then Dean will be Dean's laying like on about 40 brick run Dean's laying about four to six bricks and most of the most of the time I don't have to touch him so he's doing well he'll, he'll be getting up to you know maybe 10 bricks of course in the coming weeks and coming months when then I'll start you know I'll start really putting some driving force behind making some wages it'll take a little bit of pressure off me in a sense as well because I know he's one of them people who wants to get it right this time so I know I don't I won't have to check his work once he gets the hang of it which will be nice you know I've had a lot of lads who are just fucking the, the rough before the you know the speed comes before they want to be neat uh, Dean's a bit of the opposite so I know at least I won't have to check his work and then you know everything all synergized quite well it's ideal if the missus is spreading for me because dean can get a lot loaded out in front he loaded about i think six packs of bricks out in half a day uh, when we first started this which i was well impressed with and uh so he gets he has loading out down to a t the missus don't mind getting gobbo to be honest so gobbo and spreading is like you know her main two jobs now um you know especially with the, the small trowel she's using she's using my trowel in this video uh, and i've got my new one my w rose nine inch um so yeah it's it's all going well it's just a weird combo i never knew that there's so much you know nuance to a one and two and uh, because i've been so used to small working just one on one or on my own it's such a difference uh a lot of organizing a lot to think about uh and i did stress the first week when i was in this video i, I was probably on on a bit of a come down from a from a stressful from a stressful couple of days and then I lost my phone which topped the stress up a bit and now I'm back on it really so I'm just sort of trying to get used to normal life again with a phone and getting stuff sorted so I might get a new phone this weekend I'm in two minds whether to get one this weekend or next just because um, it's coming up to Christmas so I might I'll see what I might get a new phone but I you know I'm, the, the videos are recording fine on these and on this old iphone so you know i want to just try and use what i've got so until you know until i see a real benefit of getting one you know i'm just gonna stick with this i do want to start gaming on my phone but a lot of games are coming out for ps in the next couple of months so i'll be busy on playstation gaming so i don't i'm not really 100 percent pushed to uh you know to get a new phone straight away but if you guys are happy with the quality i won't be getting a new action cam anytime soon i don't think so you know if the edits and everything are up to standard for you guys and you're happy with the quality you know i'm going to probably get a, a tripod for the camera so i'll do a few time lapses maybe uh, or just a few different angles but at the moment it's just a little bit hard i've got to just be cracking on all the time so i always got time to set stuff up so when when Dean gets laying a bit more and the missus gets more, you know, fluent spreading and stuff like that, and she gets quicker, because I, I, I think she's going to want to lay bricks soon. She says she doesn't want to, but she's going to do. And if we've got two laying, you know, Dean will probably have to jump off more on the hod. And they'll just take turns, take turns really, because, like, we're going to lose loads of days in winter anyway, uh, with rain or, you know, cold weather. So we'll have everything loaded out in front, no, more or less all the time. I'll be just coming in on my own and loading out, obviously because I won't be able to pay anyone just to load out and not lay anything. So I'll be probably coming in loading every, any, everything out and then on the days um, we can lay, uh, we'll be just flat out both of us laying. That's my, you know, all three of us laying more or less. 
that's the plan and then just getting Gobbo you know periodically um, so yeah that's the plan it's going all right it's, it's going to plan to be honest it's just very shocking for myself that that you know I'm still getting used to what we're getting done in a day you know we I know how much it, how much we have to get it done to pay everyone's wage and I've took a little bit of a pay cut for the last couple of weeks um, a pay cut a pay cut in a sense of what I'm earning but not like a household pay cut we've had a pay increase because I'm paying the missus but um, it's been weird it's been really really weird you know uh, with everything and I'm just trying I'm just currently getting to grips because I, I think I've, we've entered a new era of you know the gang you know with the work we're turning out you know we're fast we're as fast as uh, we're as fast as your regular two and one now I think uh, at least or at least two bit we're as fast as two bit layers without a doubt with all three of us um, and uh, you know as fast, and we're, you know every, and especially with this site that's on at the moment there's another gang with a two and one, with a one and two another gang with a one and one and then another like two brick layers or two and one sometimes two brick layers sometimes two and one so the gap the, the site has now when you know sort of dwindled down to small you know small medium sized gangs and it seems like these are the gangs that are going to stay so everyone's sort of got their own houses everyone's got their own work and uh you know we've got this other pair i've been told right next to the one i'm building um you know they said i can have it but whether i'll actually end up building it or not we'll see uh, which i do want this other pair it'd be nice to have two of them it means i can you know work you know find out any issues i have in the first one and then iron them out in the second um we've probably got about a day we've got friday on this top out we'll have monday doing the two table lifts i've not measured how many bricks are in them but i'm thinking they'll be probably like 250 bricks per table lift so i reckon i can get two done in a day if i really crack on and then i've got a little little mini little mini uh course up at the front it's just like a little mini mini one so should only take me a couple hours so i've got two two and a half days max left on this top out and then we're back down here uh, we should be back on this plot on the on the wednesday no tuesday dinner tuesday dinner sorry um tuesday dinner time we're back on here easily uh of next week and we're gonna build we've already built two block brick gables we've built this gable in block as well we've got two block corners up on the other gable so we're gonna run them block corners in on that gable and then we're gonna set and then while i'm doing that they're gonna set out the jack walls and the back and front the thermal light work since all the bricks are already loaded uh we're gonna do we're gonna set out the rear uh thermal light work and set up the corners for the jack walls. So we'll run the back in and tail corner out for the jack walls at the same time. I find that's what's gonna be more efficient. Uh, I'm gonna bring in the skill saw for that day so I'll make sure I've got all the cuts. I'm gonna inquire about reveal blocks because at the moment people are making their own, you know, with a 150 cut or whatever it is. Um, so, uh, you know, it's in good you would need reveal blocks really, it's a lot faster. Uh, and then that way we'll have some walls going up, we'll have some corners going off on them jack walls and then we're going to drop back on the brickwork and we'll probably take as long as we've got at least five closer block on the on the back uh, with a you know like a you know with a little tail out corner five course on the jack walls um, we'll start the brickwork we'll take that brickwork up as high as I can in the day I reckon because I'll just get profile on each side I reckon I'll get the back brick work up, you know, in half a day, and then the block work up in half a day, and then, and then we'll drop back inside, I'll finish off the both gables to full out, I'll, I'll, I'll have to get some window formers anyway for the little windows at the front, um, we'll drop back in, put both gables up to full out with the window front window formers in, then running the, uh, run, running the, run, running the front what work same again with the jack walls then drop on brickwork for light and then we'll just have to finish the the, the front pillars then um the white work and then after that's all complete uh we'll just have a day left to to take the jack wall up another you know four course 
plus run that five course corners we've put in plus the four course and then that'll be it that'll be complete that plot uh, I, like I say I've got a time scale I reckon um, you know I've give I've give us a day to do uh, run block working on gable and build the back up full light on brick with a bit of block work and some jack wall corners that's what I'm reckon I'll get done in a day and then Finish back off, take gables up, take both gables up full out and block work, and uh, and you know and maybe set out some some block work on the front. That's two days. Then run get brick work up full out, and then take block work rest of the full out, and maybe start on the jet walls for another day, and then finish out walls. So I've probably left us about four days work left on these houses. I'm sure I've got five days money on it, but I've, I've, I'm estimating four to five days to finish it. So if we get up this on it, get on this Tuesday dinner, you know, we might have it done, you know, by, might have it done by Friday. Or if we've got to finish some jack walls on Monday, that gives ample time for Dean to load out the next drop and, you know, the next plot. So probably by, you know, this time next week, sorry. Yeah, this time next week we'll be boarding out the next plot uh, and we'll be almost done on this one. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. This By the time you'll see, you guys are seeing this video, by the time, you know, the next week rolls around, you're seeing this video, we'll be on, we'll be on an, an identical pair to this. So, everything's going pretty well, to be honest, you know. Uh, the way, the reason why, like, I've built it like this in two C shapes, you take away a, a lot of your back work and a lot of your front work, and you've just got a lot of your block work to fill it. You know, your block work is probably, you know, what's a lot, what's the most fiddly, you know, all the pillars and the reveal blocks and stuff. But, you know, I've set up wrapped my reveals uh, both sides on blocks, so I'm just filling in everything, the back and front, really. And it shouldn't be much issue at all, especially if I can get the get Dean laying blocks as well. It'd be, a, be dead easy. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the build. That's the build so far. Um... I don't really have a topic today, I just want to talk about the build really. Um, I've got a video up of some block, I'll build the block corners and set the damp tray up for the blocks. You know, it's not the most, it's probably easier to do it the other way. It's probably easier to put a course of block all the way around first with the tray on. And then, obviously, and then obviously uh, take your brickwork up. It'd be easier to do that probably. Uh, set a course out on your jack walls and everything. It's probably easy to do that, but I find this is easier for the gang size I've got because I can't leave everyone to set damp trays up on their own. You know, they don't know how to do it. I can't leave. I ain't got, you know, I just find to stay in one spot when it's just me laying. You know, I've not got two people laying at the moment. I've got proper improvers. You know, there's both, you know, novices, apprentices, really. So it's easier for me to stay in one spot, build one thing at once. Uh, at the moment, but I will probably, you know, try out that method Charlie used on the house with the, putting the blocks everywhere. I might do that at some point. But you know, because I like to build the four corners and then just run everything in, it's no big deal to me. I've got a video of me building the block corner. I think it takes me like 45 minutes to build it. Um, so I'll upload that full video at uh, the weekend. And then I'll be gonna record some top out footage tomorrow of me doing some big corners and running them in. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll, I'll do a footage of me head camming a big corner. I'll do a big corners on timber top outs. Um, you know, this is the best way I've found at the moment uh, to build these timber spandle panel top outs. Just because these bricks, they just slide so much, just laying one and running it. You can't fit brick them. Um, I was going to line clamp them to the, to the soffit, but the issue I have with that is then we could have some drift course to course um, and I want to I want to run everything with corners so I can keep an eye on the levels I can put a big six foot level up it make sure it runs nice to the soffit and fascia uh, it gives a little bit of opportunity as well if we you know I'm not having to travel to each side of the line to move it up you know every course I could just travel build a big corner let everyone get in front with a muck uh, more or whatever you want to call it, you know, with blind clamps, there's a lot of faffing. There's a lot of faffing, and 
I, we ain't got a lot, to, what, you know, with the way these facial and soffits are, we ain't got a lot of room to move. I don't like to be in the corner all the time. And then we're fighting with the gable leather, so I'd like to, I like to get the corners up. You know, I tail out now. My new, my new uh, strategy with them now is a uh, nine brick, nine brick tail out. That gets me nine high, and then I just do it in series of nine. So, um, for instance, this. You know, I'm building on top of six course. Obviously, I'm building that tray height now, uh, which the tray height has changed according to the detail. But at the time, how it was, how we were told to do it was at tray height. So I'm just doing two nine course corners, uh, and I'm finding that's the fastest way I get down these gables. And the gables, I, the gables I was doing today have a movement joint in, which is a big ball ache. Um, just movement joints. <laughs> I've had to do it the closest style way. You know build it as you go i can't just build one side because i just find it lean too much so i just build it as i go and i find that i keep a nice plumber gable that way um you know movement joints pretty plumb but i'm not, not, not bothered about that on the cut up you know i'm just mainly wanting a nice plumb gable so anyway guys hope you've liked these pictures i'm putting up as well some of the work we did and uh i will see you guys um in a few days with another video thanks for watching